Great. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, the problem being short is that I can barely see y'all from this <laughs> thing. So um, people are not accommodating to vertically challenged folk. Right. Good afternoon. My name is Lee Jing Ho. I am a professor of social studies and I'm standing on my tiptoes. Um, I am also the director of graduate studies within the Department of Curriculum Instruction here at UW-Madison School of Education. On behalf of my colleagues in the department, I extend a warm welcome to all of our guests near and far. For you all here in person today, and to the dozens of family members, friends and colleagues who are joining us through a live stream of this event, welcome. As we begin, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the history of this institution and the land upon which it sits. I'm sure many of you are aware the University of Wisconsin-Madison occupies ancestral Ho-Chunk land, the place their nation has called Dejok since time immemorial. In an 1832 treaty, the Ho-Chunk were forced to cede this territory. Decades of ethnic cleansing followed when both federal and state governments repeatedly, but unsuccessfully, sought to forcibly remove the Ho-Chunk from Wisconsin. This history of colonization informs our shared future of collaboration and innovation. Today, UW-Madison respects the inherent sovereignty of the Ho-Chunk Nation, along with the 11 other First Nations of Wisconsin. At the School of Education, we continue to honor and learn from the past in order to shape a better future, a bright future of which you are all a part. As someone who has been involved in this graduate teacher education program and who has been teaching secondary social studies methods classes, high secondary folk, um, for almost a decade, I'm consistently amazed by the brilliance and wisdom of our students and also their commitment to making a difference in our society and the world. The amazing projects and presentations that we all heard just now clearly show how thoughtful and insightful all of you are. This has not been an easy 14-month journey, and I'm proud to see how far you have come. We are here to celebrate and congratulate you. Today is your day. And it is now my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, Professor Lima Berlin. Professor Berlin is the chair of our Department of Curriculum Instruction, and she also teaches in our elementary teacher education program. Dr. Berlin is an accomplished and influential science education scholar, and she has published many articles in influential science education journals. 
Her work centers on studying how students in K-12 schools make sense of scientific phenomena and how teacher candidates make sense of teaching strategies and challenges. Recently, Professor Berlin has been looking at how people in professional learning groups work to work through their roles and beliefs and identities to create a common goal. And these efforts help us to work together to build a more inclusive and anti-racist school community. For her work as a tireless advocate for teachers and teacher education, and also for many other personal and professional reasons, I'm so pleased that Professor Berlin is here today to help us celebrate the achievements of Cohort 24. Please join me in welcoming Professor Lima Berlin. Hello. Hello. Oh. <laughs> I have to put my reading glasses on. <laughs> Good afternoon. Let me start by saying welcome and thank you to the graduates, family, friends, faculty, and staff who are joining us for this special occasion, both here and in the live stream in the Wisconsin Idea Lounge. My name, as Li Ching so beautifully introduced me, is Lima Berland, and I am proud to be chair of the Department of Curriculum and Instruction here at UW. If I haven't met you, graduates, please know that I have been sitting behind the scenes in awe of your learning and progress and of the faculty and staff that have been supporting you. And today, it is my honor to congratulate you, the students completing your teacher certification program, as well as receiving your master's in curriculum and instruction. <laughs> Graduates, today you celebrate a notable and rare achievement. Only 13% of US adults have an advanced degree. And while you have spent the last 14 months with people on the same path, working towards the same goal, it is easy to forget just how rare this accomplishment is. But you are graduating from one of the best programs at the number one ranked school of education in the country. <laughs> Our secondary teacher certification program is also ranked number three out of all such programs in the US, and there are hundreds. I am often asked. <laughs> I am often asked what accounts for our high rankings and what makes this such an exceptional school and program. And in response, I always talk about our incredible faculty and staff. They are dedicated, thoughtful, creative, and completely committed to their students. So I'd like to take a moment to thank them. Could those of you who make this program what it is, including those of you who are in the Wisconsin Idea Room, please stand so that we can recognize you for all the countless ways that you have impacted our graduates. <laughs> acknowledge and thank the families and friends who have supported you graduates along your educational journey. As Li Ching mentioned, it has been an intense program, and I know the help and encouragement of family and friends has been invaluable. So family and friends, please rise. Wisconsin Idea Room, please rise. It'll be most of you. <laughs> Graduates, today you are standing on the precipice of a career as a teacher. And let me tell you, it is a great career, and in these challenging times, it's even more important than ever. There are 56 and a half million kids in the United States, and all of these kids and their families deserve excellent schools and teachers. After COVID-19, we heard a lot about the essential workers. Workers who are doing work that is absolutely critical for the survival and thriving of our society. 
And teachers are now, as they have always been, essential workers. Without them, without you, we would be unable to provide children and young people with the education that they need to develop intellectually and emotionally. And importantly, without our teachers, our democratic society would crumble. Guests, let's take a moment and thank our graduates for jumping into this absolutely essential role. I know that some of your family and friends might be a little nervous for you, and maybe you're a little nervous for yourself, but I assure you, you will excel. I don't want to downplay the challenges facing you in this challenging career, but I am confident that you will be able to meet them because in your time here, in your classes and your field experiences, as demonstrated this afternoon, you have repeatedly shown that you have what it takes to be an excellent teacher. And even though there can be challenging times, I know you will experience the true joys of teaching. One source of joy from teaching that I personally experience on the daily is that it's hard. I know that sometimes being attracted to something that's hard might feel odd, but I wanna argue that the very things that make teaching hard are what making it a fascinating puzzle, especially for people like you who are attracted to learning. You all came into this program knowing an awful lot and wanting to learn even more. So now you are leaving the program and your profession, and, and with teaching as your profession of life, you will do lifelong learning as you learn as, alongside your students, about your students, your evolving disciplines, new pedagogies, and the ever-changing societal challenges. And so you are setting out for a lifetime of joyful, fascinating learning opportunities. And of course, when you're around tweens and teenagers all day, you'll be learning new slang, hearing about the latest trends, and getting a close-up look at our ever-shifting culture. And that is, I think, bussin'? <laughs> <laughs> My children are cowering, cowering right now. <laughs> Those of you who had an opportunity to attend our early career teaching institute earlier this week heard teachers speaking about this unique joy of building relationships with their students by learning with and from them. I hope and expect that your careers will be full of these relationships built on trust, shared triumphs, and some laughter. As a teacher, you are part of a community. You will be one of over 3.7 million teachers in the United States. These colleagues share your passion, curiosity, and drive, and they can be a source of joy and connection for you. You will also be part of a school community. No matter what kind of school you work in and no matter where that school is located, you will get to know parents, fellow teachers, school staff, alumni, and students. You'll gather and support one another at big and small events throughout the academic year. And I am so excited to experience the joy that comes from attending the games and performances and celebrations with your school communities. As a teacher, you will open your students' eyes to new ideas and new concepts. You will empower them to think critically and tackle big questions that don't have easy answers. You will help them develop tenacity, patience, and empathy. With your guidance, they'll find ways to express themselves and engage with the world around them. In your classroom, students will learn that they matter, that their ideas are powerful and useful, and that their different experiences and home communities come together in ways that make the world better. Your students will carry these lessons with them into their future grades and into their adulthood. And so I look forward to the joy you will experience from the knowledge that you are shaping the future and helping, it make, and helping to make it a more just future. This is an incredible and rewarding responsibility, and it is a responsibility that you are prepared to take on. I am so excited for you and your future students. 
But for now, it's time to conclude your journey as students with the presentation of degrees. And so it is with great pleasure that I get to introduce my friend and colleague, the Associate Dean for Teacher Education and the Director of the Mary T. Kellner Teacher Education Center, Dr. Tom Owenby. The next person who speaks will be approximately seven feet tall in keeping with our theme of increasing height <laughs> through speakers. I'd like to thank both uh, Li Ching and Lima for their words and to once again extend a welcome on behalf of the university to all family, friends, uh, faculty, staff, and most importantly today, our graduates. Um, I get to discuss process and to actually do the conferral. So I feel greatly honored today. Uh, one piece just for shared understanding. Within our programs, uh, we talk about kind of our content areas or content focus, and that's the way that soon we'll line up and receive these degrees. But a co-equal part of that, specifically within our secondary majors, is our ESL certification. And we consider that linguistic access and representation to be core elements of justice and equity in terms of education. And so keep that in mind today as we're conferring these degrees and as we're kind of discussing content areas and such, that that ESL element is really inherent within all that work that we do. So I will soon call up graduates by their area of study. We'll begin with English and then move forward with mathematics, science, social studies, and world language. As I call your area of certification, I'll ask you to line up on this side of the room. You'll then come up this ramp, hand me your card, and then you'll meet up with your advisors, take a beautiful heartfelt image that you will hold close to your heart forever, and then continue down. You'll walk down this side. Jason, could you raise your hand, please? Thank you. You'll walk past Jason and then come back that center aisle there back to your seat. Um, so I would like to ask the guests to remain seated. Feel free to applaud wildly, but to remain seated so that folks on the live stream can still see everything wherever they may be watching. And so I'd like to ask our English grads to please stand up. Sean will shepherd. And if our English advisors could please come center stage. Austin, I'm ready for you. Austin Parker. Kayla Maracek. <laughs> Emma Cooper. Roxanne Fletcher. <laughs> Hudson Campbell. Emily Sahawk. <laughs> Mariah Bozeman Schottinger. Liz Stodelman Scanlon. <laughs> Shelley Kaiser.
Carson Barber. Raina Braun. Andrew Brannon. Pierce Barbo. Cheatham Karaman Blocker. <laughs> Bing Zhang. Quinn Carruthers. <laughs> I'd like to now call up our Masters of Mathematics and one more round of applause, please, for our English candidates. Anna Flowers. <laughs> Benjamin Seeger. Kyle D. Eklund. <laughs> David Lamy. Jason Verisith. Sarah Rogensack. Hannah Hubing. <laughs> Michaela Ortel. I'd like to ask our science candidates to line up here with Sean and one more round of applause for our mathematics candidates.
Leah Werner. Eston Whitfield. <laughs> Eve Kelly. Emily Lore. Alexander Lorenzo. Kaylee Groyle. <laughs> Isabella Katarski. Nick Bemo. <laughs> Travis Huberty. Riley Hartwig. Marcus Graham. Fred Richards. I'd like to call up our social studies candidates and one more round of applause for our science candidates, please. Joe Rocco. Andrew Smith.
Sala Balawi. Maria Fichtinger. <laughs> Emily Barrent. <laughs> Stuart Brown. <laughs> Sean Quinn. Sheehan Brian Grace. <laughs> Amea Sanadi. <laughs> Emily Lillo. <laughs> Kaia Mann. Rachel Deal. <laughs> Maya Harris. Kenzie Lowe. <laughs> Adam Fendos. Aaron Cook. <laughs> Isabel Green.
Samantha Rachel Anchita. Yoon An. <laughs> Finally, it is my honor to call up our world language graduates. And also, one more round of applause, please, for our social studies graduates. <laughs> <laughs> Drew Cole <laughs> Yesenia Garcia Ben Tony. <laughs> Yu Fang Lu. Okay, now everyone can stand for one last round of applause for our world language grads and all of our graduates. So now, as we wrap up, um, I'd like to ask for our guests to remain seated. Um, and in a moment, I will ask our graduates to um, come outside with me for some quick photos uh, just outside in the Alumni Park. Um, so be prepared for that. Uh, for our guests, if your grad is receiving a master's in science or social studies, most of those folks, once the photos are complete, will be heading up to our third floor um, Super Skydeck Spectacular spread um, with robust oars de vores um, in honor of our recently departed Dean, Diana Hess, who always, always underlined the need for robust orders. Um, so please feel free to join in that area. Um, if your grad is receiving a master's in English, math, or world languages, uh, we ask that you head to the AT&T lounge for um, the start of our festivities. And that's the lounge that's just off the front door that you came in. Um, so feel free to head over there. Um, ushers will be around to help guide you to those locations, including Sean, who is at the door. Thank you, Sean. Okay. It's it's truly been a pleasure to work with your, your candidates over the past 14 months. To you, they are siblings, they are sons, they are daughters, they are your children, they are your partners, um, they are your parents. I heard some um, youngsters in the back as well. And we appreciate you through the supports that you provided them, helping them to get to this point and knowing that it's that sense of support and community that helps them to continue in this work. As Lima said, this is 
important work. It's fundamental work to the functioning of society. And so grateful for the community you've provided to help these graduates get to this point. In keeping with that theme of community, I would like to be the first to invite you to our Early Career Teaching Institute next summer, which is an opportunity for recent graduates to come back to be in that, that community of educators and to continue to engage in that um, shared professional development and support. So keep your eyes open for an invitation in midwinter. It'll help lift you from the blues and bring you back here in this beautiful weather next summer. If everyone could join me, one blast round of applause, and then graduates, I will ask you to make your way out. Thank you. So as they've made their way out, feel free to file out as well. Once again, the third floor deck and then the lounge that's here on the ground floor near the front of the building. Thank you.